hello everyone so today I'm gonna show you uh, how to apply or change these helmets that is collected in the world and through the inventory system inventory UI we can change it so here if I go select the helmet and we see the current helmet this basic iron helmet is applied it is highlighted here and I have already collected this horn helmet but it was not applied to the character because I already had a helmet. If I click this, the current helmet will be removed and the horned helmet will be applied to the character. Like this. And if I go to the level, now you see my character has the horned helmet. So yeah, this is what we are going to work on today. And another thing we are going to do additionally related to these weapons because earlier we had used weapons dot sword tag for all these three swords this one this one and this one uh, we are now today we are going to add unique tags to uh, to allow them to be uniquely identified in the inventory system that is also something we are going to do here in this episode okay so before we get started i'd like to remind you you can watch all other episodes of this project that uh, from this playlist and i leave the link to the full playlist in the description you can watch it for free in my channel and also you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done uh, from my patreon page to the date there are over 2000 videos and for each video you can access project files so yeah I'll leave the links to all the relevant stuff in the description and let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so right now if I select these helmets or whatever the weapons and if I go to the inventory, now you can see they do appear in the inventory but right now there is no way for me to uh, change because the changing part is not working so that's what we are going to work on today now to show you how new items are applied to the character let me open UI and right hand weapons uh, widget now here this is this uh, on button pressed this is the event that is called when i press any of those uh, weapon buttons that appear in the inventory so here this apply weapon part now what happens is first i call this destroy weapon using weapon class because in order to apply a new item to the character we need to destroy the current item in the same category that means if i already have if the character is already wearing a helmet we need to destroy that but here we are using the weapon class weapon class means uh, it's left hand right hand or two-handed weapons but we are not considering the weapon type because earlier i was only interested in changing uh, swords and shields so let me open the character class base character class and here oh one more thing in order to destroy we need to keep a reference to the weapon as well so this collect weapon event so before that let me show you what i was explaining destroy weapons so here this is what happens destroy weapons and it destroy this is for replication so it destroys weapon r or weapon l depending on the class that you have uh, used here so now as i said two things i need to add a parameter to show the weapon type to tell the weapon type and also if i am to destroy the helmets first i need to keep a reference to the helmet as well 
so where is collect now collect weapon now here if the weapon type is helmet i am i don't have a variable so just like this let me duplicate this and call it helmet maybe we should have a category let's just say equipment and I'll put all the weapons under that now if it is a helmet I'll put it in the helmet category and note that this variable is replicated that's important for replication okay now for the destroy part as I said I just the class is not enough I would need uh, the weapon type as well so let's go to this BPI weapon builder interface if you double click on this you can go open it directly this uh, this interface this interface is where i have defined the functions related to weapon wielder so whatever the character who wields weapons destroy weapons here i'll add weapon type e weapons as the default value i'll put sword destroy weapons but I think I have used destroy weapons only in that UMG yeah yeah okay now here we have the weapon type you can get it from here and pass it okay that's all for here but now when we destroy okay when we destroy we need to know the weapon type but how do we use it well weapon type just to make it easier I'll add a switch like this and this is not where I'm gonna use it I'm gonna use it here and selection this this one is the second selection is weapon type first one is weapon class okay now if it is a red sword or a shield or a sword it should take this path otherwise it can take another path but here all I need to do is destroy in the helmet so I can use this macro that I have used here and pass a reference to the helmet that should destroy the current helmet and here we need to complete these functions this is uh, the function that runs on server weapon class and this is the multicast function okay at least now it should destroy the weapon destroy the helmet uh, let's see so you see the wrong weapon is highlighted as the one currently active and i can destroy it but it's not 
add in the new helmet okay so why is that so that should be because we have another problem as you just saw well that problem is there for these other swords as well here i have the great sword and great sword is highlighted here but if i don't have the great sword let me like this yeah this sword is the one i have and it is highlighted okay now just observe this let me first pick this one and then another two okay still this one is highlighted that's because uh, the reason is we don't have separate tags for those weapons all of those weapons have the same tag which is sword and the same problem is there for the helmet as well so what i should do is first let me fix that issue for the helmet weapon weapon weapons and helmet so this is oh wait i don't have a tag here okay i'll let the tag weapons my helmet um, i'll let us have tag let's just call it iron helmet and select it and for the other one let's have a different one helmet horn because it has a horn and i'll remove this iron okay now when i wear this helmet that uh, weapons dot helmet dot horned tag must be added but in order to add that here i have this ge collect helmet and ge collect horned helmet so here as the added tag i need to set iron helmet because this is the regular helmet this one should be the horn helmet okay now let's check again now as the first one I'm wearing the regular helmet not the horn one if I go here see now the regular helmet is highlighted if I do this can I change yeah now it is working see it's changing it's taking a bit because here i have taken into account the replication parts but i think i should make it a bit faster i will look into that in another episode okay now in the same way we need to have a unique tag for the for all the swords as well so this is sword so maybe i should call it weapons dot sword dot we need a name let's just say basic basic sword and this one pencil Sort pencil and mark it, and this is glimmer. Select it. Okay. Let's 
now we need gameplay effects for collection of these weapons so but we only have ge collect sword let me rename this as basic and here it should have as the added tag basic now collect sword fencer this will be for the fencer and this for the glimmer okay fencer and glimmer okay now don't forget to apply the correct gameplay effect so this is collect sword glimmer then the gameplay effect class is collect sword glimmer and this is collect sword fencer apply collect sword fencer all right now that problem should not be there to demonstrate let me first collect this one and then others all right let's go here now you see we have the fencer equipped and it is highlighted here and i can change the basic sword if i want like this go back go to the helmets i have this helmet let's switch to the iron helmet like this now we have the iron helmet and here my character has the iron helmet like this okay so yeah i think we can stop this episode right here okay so thanks for watching uh, in the next episode let's look into replication aspects of the items for the helmet and yeah see you in another episode don't forget to like and subscribe let me know in the comments if you encounter any issues and goodbye